What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, I guess. I have a nice little assortment of tools here. And if you saw my title, saw the caption, you know what I'm about to do. We're gonna destroy these shoes. The indestructible shoes. We're gonna destroy it. It's gonna happen. I'm a remodeler by trade. These are my tools. These are what I use almost on a daily basis. We're, so I'm gonna use tools that I know will do the job. This isn't that big of a deal, really. I mean, power tools and shoes, you know which one's gonna win. But let's have some fun and let's destroy some stuff. So first thing first, we got the brand new DeWalt 578 Cirque Saw. We're on a 12 volt flex volt with a brand new Diablo blade. Not really brand new, slightly used Demo Demon blade on it. Milwaukee Fuel Super Sawzall with a brand new metal cutting blade on it. DeWalt Flex Volt 9 inch. What are the cutoff saw? Cutoff saw. It's a concrete saw, is what we use it for, but I got the metal disc on there. We're going to cut some stuff. And then, got my Milwaukee M18 compressor, powering my pass load framing gun with some three inch spikes in it. Let's get to it. First thing that you typically want to do whenever you're uh, sawing, cutting, grinding, whatever, is clamp some stuff down. So the shoes that we are destroying today are the Riders by Indestructible Shoe. Now. Most people, if you've done any research in these things, you know that these are knockoff of another shoe company. I don't care about that. The point of these is to destroy them. So, we're gonna clamp these things down and we're gonna do some damage. So, let's see, first of all, we should do, I think let's go to the big saw. All right, let's do it. So let's clamp our thing down first. Kevlar doesn't do anything against a framing gun. Let's do this. Safety first, people. That's a bit high. Turn that down to there. All right, so. The shoe's on there. We got a steel reinforced toe here. Let's say you're one day, you're just grinding some stuff away or cutting away with the wheel and you're like, you slip off the material you're cutting, right? So. I guess it's not that strong. That was fairly easy. Let's do it again. Yeah, well that's uh that got cut. That's uh that's done. So that's that's cool. We'll just use these snips here. And there you go. That's one dead shoe. Kinda sorta, I guess, right? Okay, so we know that that doesn't work to stop the indestructible shoes. Or I should say it does work. They are very destructible shoes. You can see you got some different layers there, yada yada yada. Let's try uh, let's try the sawzall next, huh? Let's see what that does. Okay, we got a metal blade. We'll go right through the. Oh, there's no metal toe left. Oh darn! Let's come with that out of orbital mode, huh? metal blade not cutting any metal so that was pretty easy all right uh, you know what I got one more idea for uh, for this particular part let's take this guy and we'll just do another one of these like that okay and we'll uh, we'll go through the toe huh That's going to be a little tricky. All right. Well, it actually stood up to that. That's mighty impressive there. 
hot metal, you know, don't touch it. But here is your, uh, your steel toe. Started to get through it a little bit on the end there, but you know, there's that. I think we should uh, kind of clean this stuff up though a little bit. Because, you know, why not, right? Yeah, we'll just cut some of this out of the way. Oh, I am using uh, my Crescent Tradesman shears. And it seems like this uh, Kevlar reinforcement plate down here is worth nothing for this stuff. There you go, cut right through Kevlar like it was nothing. So there's that. And clearly, if you've watched their ads, you know that you cannot step on nails. Well, I just shot a nail through it, so there's that. Now, Cirque saw is probably not gonna work very good in this situation with being fabric and all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to uh, sandwich this down like that and then rip right through it. So let's see how that does. Let's put one there. Oh. issue actually let me show you how much it went through oh, get over here hi right. there we go look at that that's uh that's the kevlar right there just kind of went through that like nothing huh i guess uh they're kind of destructible in the grand scheme of things here so that's just one shoe I got another one to go. Let's do something. Well, there we have it. There's one shoe, uh, pretty much useless and destroyed. You know, actually, I should probably uh, clean this up a little bit. I don't want, I don't want people thinking that I'm just leaving shoes unnecessarily destroyed for no reason. There, here we go. Yep. Okay. There's one. To, oh the the rubber the gum rubber here let's let's see what we can do with this stuff these are just snips shears is there I mean I would, would say they're nothing special but these are actually pretty damn good shears but let's see what else we got these are cutting right through this Kevlar Like it's nothing. Also cutting right through the rubber like it's nothing. We'll say the Kevlar is actually giving a little bit of a, a little bit of resistance, but not much. So are these shoes uh indestructible? What do you think? I think they're pretty pretty very well uh, destructible when you want to make them destructing. Destructing? Destructing. Ow, just poked myself with a nail. Safety first, people. That's that. If you like my video, if you had fun watching this, hit that like button, let me know what you think of it. Let me know if you're gonna buy a pair of these shoes. Uh, full disclosure, they did send me these shoes to destroy. And that's what I did. The purpose of it was to try and destroy it. Very easily so, actually. This is what, six minutes, seven minute video? Nothing there, so. Yeah, uh, I actually have a link in my description below here. If you want to purchase some, you can get some some percentage off or whatever. Uh, I've been wearing these for a little bit. Honestly, 
they're not for me. Um, they're just a shoe and I'm not going to go into depth on any of that. It's just my feet are my feet and that's that. So they're shoes. You want to get some shoes, get some shoes. If not, get some boots because they're better.